It's the 2K Sports Free Game Show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. Tonight, we'll see the Miami Heat playing against the Portland Trailblazers at Moda Center. Taking a look at the Trailblazers, one of the things they'd like to accomplish, getting good shots. Maybe easier said than done. Defenses are quick to adapt, but they know that that's what gives them the best chance to win. And I'll tell you, tell two me. tremendous defenses tonight. Yes. Uh, it's going to be hard for either team to uh, put up many points. That's why you got to stay patient, Ernie. You can't just jack up shots. Every bucket is going to matter. Don't force shots. Just run your offense. Make sure everyone touches it. Make the defense work because they are willing to work. And you got to pound the offensive glass, create second chance opportunities, and you got to try to get those easy buckets in transition. Hey, uh, so you, you, you got to be patient? Yes. I, I got a joke for you. Oh. <laughs> I got a joke for you. Okay, got it. Okay, it's a knock knock joke. Are you knock ready? Knock. Yes. All ready? All right. Knock knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Impatient cow. Impatient cow. Because <laughs> see, the cow no, said move before so the joke was over. Yeah. He said move before yeah, you yeah, asked. Yeah. All right. That's move. Move. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Ah, you can taste the excitement here at the Sold Out Arena in Portland. It's the Miami Heat and the Portland Trailblazers. I'd like to welcome you to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, joined by the talent and analyst tandem of Greg Anthony and Chris Weber. David Aldridge is on our sideline. And as things get ready to roll, let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's on the sideline. David? Thank you, Kevin. Well, the Miami Heat has established that high standard for fitness. Even Eric Spolstra has gotten into it in his late 40s. The Heat coach says when he's working out, I'm in a different place. The physical, emotional, and mental benefits, I'm hooked. Kevin? As hard as he works, great that he takes care of himself, too. DA, thank you. Well, compared to the rest of the league, uh, C-Web, both these teams play at a very deliberate pace, not not up and down, but they're, they're thoughtful in the way they attack. Yeah, and we usually see this style of place more on the East Coast. And there's nothing wrong with taking time to run through the offense and make sure that you see every option. If you keep the ball moving, it can wear a team down on defense. Very rarely do you see a team play defense for the full 24 seconds of a shot clock. Good perspective. So here's Miami's starting group. Richardson and Johnson are the forwards. Trogic and Waiters, they're the backcourt, and it's Whiteside in the center position. Out to the wing, nobody near Lillard. That falls, I speed that time for McCollum. Lillard's got the first three points tonight for the Trailblazers. Waiters passes to Whiteside. Richardson kicks to Trogic. The putback, and Whiteside stays right with it. Yeah, and the presence of Whiteside in the paint, really unreal. He, he is a dominant figure down low. Great work to grab that second chance opportunity. Now here's McCullum. Here's Aminu. Back to McCullum. Lock at six. Turner against Dragic. Miami grabs the miss. Not quite airtight defense right there, but his release was a little bit off on the jump. It's good. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Well, that opening right there, that's just because the defense failed to rotate. Raiders against McCullough. And so just over a minute and a half played. Turner against Richardson. Got a hand on it. And here 
we go with Waiters. Running it up the court. No good there. So the Trailblazers will take it the other way. It's McCollum on the wing. The pass to Turner. Good ball movement here by the Trailblazers. No one covered. And it's six points for Damian Lillard. Terry Stotts, the head coach of the Blazers, he has earned the trust of his roster. Yeah, if you talk to the players on his team, Kevin, they believe in the system that he runs. He is always willing to give players a chance to earn minutes and is up front with them. Playing in the Stotts, you know that if you work hard and improve, he'll take notice and adjust the rotations accordingly. For Portland, they've gone two for four for the field so far today. Turner looking around. To the middle. Here's Aminu. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. I'd like to see Aminu do more of this, Kevin. I mean, he has the touch to be effective inside. Rogic against Lillard. Rogic kicks to Whiteside. Shoots the three. And Evan Turner pulls it down. Portland leading. Pass to Nurkic. Richardson against Turner. McCollum outside. And so the ball out of bounds. McCollum touched it last. A different look now for Portland. Collins comes in for Yusuf Nurkic. And Harkless is subbed in for Evan Turner. Winslow's checked in for the Heat. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Rogic against Lillard. Whiteside, Dragic. Pass to Whiteside. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. And here are the Trailblazers now. Here's Lillard. He has six. Over Dragic. And again, it's Portland converting. Into the NBA, I knew he needed to develop his mid-range game. He did it, and this opened things up. Dragic finds Waiters. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And Deion Waiters, midway through last season, finally had season-ending surgery on his left ankle. He had been trying to manage that injury since the season prior. Yeah, and he ended up losing out on a bonus of over a million, which was contingent on him playing 70 games. His play had fallen off, though, so quite possible he needed that surgery even before he suffered the setback. comes to video review, C-Web, do you feel the NBA has done a good job of incorporating it into the flow of the game, or is there, in your opinion, still some work to be done in this regard? There's a little work to be done. I mean, nothing's ever perfect, but I think they've done a great job. I mean, you want to get it right, and so there's going to be a, a little bit of an inconvenience sometimes in going back to it, but the main thing for me is to make sure that it is as fast as possible, that you're not giving the team uh, extra time to get together and to huddle up and to call plays. You're not uh, taking the rhythm away from a team that just went on a 10-0 run, and now they have to sit on the side for two minutes in real time and see if this call is correct. So the speed uh, that is done with the video review is the only thing I think that needs to be uh, worked on, and, and that's going to be situation to situation. So I think the NBA is doing a really good job. Good points. Six to shoot. The shot. And again, it's the heat missing. Wasted opportunity. That's a good chance right there for an easy two on the open shot. Curry with it. Pass to Stauskas. Here's the three. It's hauled in by the Heat. Here's the 
There's 39 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Winslow kicks to Johnson. To the left side wing. Three-pointer. Miami no good on that time either. Portland leading by three. Now here's Harkless. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Shoots from 12. Rebound by Olenek. The movement and the shot selection are good there, but you can't hit them all. There's Winslow. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Damian Lillard making things happen for Portland. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. We've got more in store for you right after this. so important in today's NBA that works just fine for combo guard Tyler Johnson. I don't really limit myself to one position. I feel like I can guard both positions. Um, being able to do that, I feel like I'll have the capability to fill in when needed. And with all the switching we see teams Greg employing right now, that defensive versatility is highly prized, highly valued. And Johnson, an excellent athlete. He's got the tools to impact the game, both offensively and defensively. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. What stands out to you guys from the Trailblazers so far in this one? Through that first one, uh, they turned this thing into a track beat. I'll tell you what, when you allow them to speed up the tempo, there's a good chance you're going to fall behind. We've got more heartless. Seth Curry is out there with Stauskas. Then there's Myers Leonard. And it's Wayman in at the three spot. They're the group the Portland Trailblazers will start the second quarter with. Now here's Winslow. With the shot. It's rebounded by Leonard. So it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for Portland. Three-point lead. Chris, you've played against the Blazers and in Portland so many times in your career. Explain the love the city has for this terrific team. Well, Portland actually was my favorite arena to play in. I love the floor, the seats, uh, 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 the lighting there. I, I just love playing there. I mean, the city lives and dies with the Blazers. They have crazy, die-hard fans there in Rip City. I mean, very few teams, very few teams have a devoted fan base uh, as the Blazers do. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the Trailblazers making a change here. Nurkic just checked in. And Miami with a change here, too. Magruder's checked in. And the second free throw, good. Miami with the ball. Four-point game. Johnson outside. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. He kicks to Olenek. Fires the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Olenek's got his first three points of the game. One of those guys who combines the body of a big man in the game of a guard, Olenek can get it done on the perimeter. Curry attacking. Shoots over Ellington. Here's Nurkic. And yes, it's good. Nurkic has got his first points of the night. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. I, I tell you what it's like football. Having a third and 13 and then running up the gut. I, it, it just frustrates the defense. You have to hate giving up second chance points. It's demoralizing. After basically, I mean, you had to stop. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Well, guys, Hassan Whiteside continues to develop. Now, 
Miami coach Eric Spolstra said it's got nothing to do with his stats. He's going to do that no matter what. It's about making winning plays and caring more about his teammates than he cares about himself. Now we can lead in a different way because he has the respect of the locker room. Kevin? Terrific, D.A., thank you. And the basket by Johnson. The, the mid-range jumper is a high percentage shot for him, and when he's got that much room, forget about it. Now the pass to McCollum. Sinks the triple. McCollum's got the lead up to four now for the Trailblazers. You gotta know McCollum is looking to fire off the pass. This is why you must play up on Chris, I don't think Damian Lillard will ever be accused of lacking confidence. He'll tell you about how great he is all the time. And that isn't a knock. I mean, all top NBA players need to believe that. Lillard has said he feels he deserves to be all NBA. Sometimes it just feels like he's looking to be disrespected and just so he can use it as motivation during the season. Here's Lillard. Hassan Whiteside made his last pass. It's good. And the Trailblazers lead by four. He creates so much offense. I mean, Lillard puts intense pressure on the defense uh, to be at. Now, here's Ellington. He is guarded by McCollum. Nurkic with the block. McCollum up top. Ellington defending. Lillard from outside. That shot missing. And it's Miami the other way. Johnson, a wide open look. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. McCollum passes to Lillard. Back to McCollum. And it's Amino in the corner. Off the left rim and out. The Heat trail by four. And here's the break. Ellington from outside. Miami no good on that time either. Portland's gone one or three from way outside since the start of the second quarter. Lillard finds McCollum. And it's good assisting on the play with Lillard. Lillard's got three assists in the game. Ellington, the pass to Whiteside. Pass to Dragic. Dishes it to Whiteside. Great D that time from Nurkic. Trailblazers leading by seven. Here's McCollum. And it's Miami with the rebound. Outside Dragic. Damian Miller grabs the loose ball. Portland's gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Uh, McCullough is incredibly dangerous from outside. Awesome at finding available spaces. He shoots with ease. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively. For sure. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Well, think about it, Kevin. The skill set of Lillard, <laughs> he has incredible range. He can get a shot off of ease in his dribble combinations. I mean, he's crafty when he gets inside. He's a complete offensive threat. Checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Luis Harkless comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Turner subbed in for Jake Lehman. Laheed also changing it up. Winslow's checked in for Johnson. Richardson comes in for Rodney McGruder. And it's Waiters in for Wayne Ellington. Now here's Dragic to end the run. It'll go. The Portland lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Dion Waiters. The D with some heavy feet out there. I mean, too slow to rotate. Nobody communicating. They can't make threes that easy for them. And here's McCollum for three. And it's good assisting on the play with Lillard. 
Lillard's got assist number five here tonight. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. Now, here's Dragic. There's Winslow. Off the mark here with a three-point shot. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Bogic kicks the white side. And they double up white side. Alert against Dragic. But he need to get a shot off. Let's the free fly. And it'll go. And the Blazer lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Wiggins. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Trailblazers lead by seven. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Hey, Kevin, thanks. Here with Coach Terry Stotts. Coach, they've been shooting poorly. Is that good defense or bad offense? Probably a little bit of both. You know, I think we're competing defensively, and they've missed some opportunities. It's led to good results for you, though. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is our halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. C.J. McCollum was on fire in the first half. He had 12 points and one rebound. Shaq, how do you think the Trailblazers were playing? C.J. McCollum, you think you have him covered? Then he puts it in on you. One of the most creative offensive minds in the league. Scores on all three levels. Equally, proficient, and with either hand. Kenny, what'd you think about Miami? I felt they had a lack of intensity defensively. They gave up way too many threes. I mean, somebody needs to pull out the fire because this fire is out of control and it certainly wasn't because of their defense. <laughs> and that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books, one half to go. You know, C.J. McCollum has been exceptional here, guys. And I loved in that first half that they were patient, looked for good shots, and knocked them down. Yeah, and then it wasn't all dunks. I mean, they were squaring up with confidence, and that became contagious. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. Chris, you and I love guys with a great handle, and they can finish with either hand. I know you've got a couple guys who you think do it better than most. Kyrie Irving. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. He's exactly. one of the best finishers that I've seen. Oh, my goodness. The way he can finger roll with his left hand and, and, and throw it up so high that rain will come down with it. And, and finishing off of both legs. You have to look at a guy like Harden as well, the way he finishes. How about LeBron James? As strong as he is, it seems like he just kind of gives you a shoulder with either shoulder, bumps and weights, and then lays it up nice, too. I mean, you have so many players. Curry, he's another guy that, that does it so well. I keep going on and on with those guys. Don't forget about Mike Conley. He's ambidextrous. He might just shoot a jump shot uh, with either hand, so you got to be careful with guarding these guys. Great finish. Good names you mentioned. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All filled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the court for the Heat. Down low, it's Johnson and Whiteside. Trogic and Waiters, they're the backcourt. And it's Richardson in at the small forward. Here's Lillard following the score by James Johnson. Three-pointer. Portland, no good that time either. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. Oh, and it is checked in for Whiteside. Portland leading by three. Three-pointer Lillard. Rebound by Owenick. This was not what they had in mind coming out of the locker room at halftime. Four shots so far and nothing to show for. 
and defensively, th this is the opposite of how you want to start the second half. Yeah, I mean, you spend all that time in the locker room trying to get mentally prepared. Then you come out and give up that. Now here's McCullough. 12 points for him. Here's Nurkic. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. They needed that. Maybe they'll get it going after four straight misses to start the half. And it's Dragic with the ball for the Heat. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. And the basket by Olenek. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Portland's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. And Josh Richardson at the University of Tennessee was a pre-med student. Plans on becoming a surgeon. But when the NBA became a possibility, he said he had to switch to an easier major. <laughs> And instead of spending four hours a day studying, he put that time into the gym. The uh, terrific defender in college was the two-time All-SEC defensive player. And with the newfound focus on basketball, he has blossomed as a scorer. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming out of this. checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Nick Stauskas comes in for Evan Turner. And Curry subbed in for Damian Lillard. Bam Adebayo is checked in for the Heat. Tyler Johnson comes in for Goran Dragic. Now, here's Aminu. Back to McCollum. There's the triple. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. Well, he's played a smart and strong game. His field goal percentage improved. Waiters finds Richardson. Olinick inside. He's covered by Leonard. And that one, good. And that's now seven points for Kelly Olinick. A uh, gifted score around the rim. Olinick can finish over either shoulder, and he's got great touch. Back to Curry. Pass to McCollum. Puts it up. No good off the back of the rim. He'd have gotten every shot to drop since halftime. They're five for five from the floor. Raiders no luck. Portland's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Here's Stauskas. Richardson cover. Six on the shot clock. On the wing. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Miami trailing. It's Richardson on the wing. Waiters surveying the D. To the paint. Here's a bio. And finally, they fought themselves back to even the score. We've got a new ball game here now. They show some character tonight. There was no quit in them. Even when they were down B. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. And he hit 72% of his foul shots a season ago, but I'm not sure he's real thrilled with those numbers. Here's what Portland's going with right now. Collins checked in for Mind Myers Leonard. Harkless comes in for Al Farouk Aminu. And Jake Lehman subbed in for McCullough. And then for Miami, Justice Winslow, he's checked in for Josh Richardson. And Roddy Magruder's subbed in for Waiters. Now the free throw is good, now leading by one. Trailblazers have gone just 25% from the field here in the second half, the two of eight. Here's Lehman, covered by Winslow. Here's Stauskas, kicks it to Collins. Curry from deep three-point land. And it's out of bounds. Nice touch by Curry. Making a change here. Ellington's checked in. Yeah. 
and here's Miami. They're on a 13 to 5 run here. Pass to Winslow. And Johnson now top of the key. Great ball movement here by the Heat. And the rejection by Collins. The pass to Curry. Plenty of space. Jump shot is good. Curry's got his first basket of the night. Now, almost any player left that wide open is going to bury that shot. This is the lead. That's poor defensive. Here's Magruder. True on the 14-footer. Magruder's got the lead back up to one now for Miami. Guys, close one here. No team getting a huge advantage. Yeah, two the nail fight so far, guys. These sides match up really well. Lehman kicks to Stauskas. There's 47 seconds left in the third. Here's Curry with the three. That one misses. And Miami the other way now. Now Ellington, he's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Down low, there's Winslow, and that one is good. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Trailblazers trail by three. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Curry against Johnson. Outside group. There's Lehman. No good on the last second attempt there. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Heat out front as they end the third quarter with a tremendous 17 to 7 run. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. It's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? How about the unselfishness? Night in and night out, we see guys trying to force their own agenda. Not that time. And with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. The Heat leading by three. Turner is out there with Mo Harkless. Then it's Damian Lillard. Then there's Seth Curry. And it's Collins in at the five spot. That's the group on the floor for Portland. Now here's Dragic. And another basket for Miami. And here's Curry who brings it up for Portland. Lillard outside. From past the arc. Rebound by the Heat. Whiteside's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Johnson dishes to Dragic. That one drops for him. Now it's a seven-point Heat lead. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. Dragic against Lillard. He kicks it to Turner. Pass to Kirk. Shot clock at six. Wants to get it to Collins and does. Lillard from outside hits the three-point bomb. He lost his first three of the second half after nearly two in the first. They don't want to let this fella get going. Inside. Very pretty alley playoff. And the Heat lead by six. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. And Goran Dragic, a slippery lefty out of Slovenia. At his peak, a phenomenal offensive player. He doesn't hit that peak every season, though. And now in his 30s, we'll see how long he can extend his prime.
Jokic checked in for Collins. Aminu comes in for Harkless, and McCollum subbed in for Curry. And then for Miami, Richardson comes in for Justice Winslow, and Deion Waiters subbed in for Wayne Ellington. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Hi, Kevin. Well, Terry Stotts just went over his game plan with his team. With them getting outshot from the perimeter, he told them we have got to defend the three-point line. Those threes are destroying us. We'll see if they can tighten it up, Kevin. Here's Turner following the score by James Johnson. Back to McCollum. Launches a three. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got three assists in the game. Waiters against McCollum. And Waiters kicks to Richardson. The dish to Whiteside. And the rebound by Nurkic. Aggressive move to the bucket. And the D is ready for it. McCollum against Waiters. McCollum outside. Lillard outside. And again, it's the Trailblazers from deep. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. McCollum against Waiters. Pass to Dragic. Kicks it to Richardson. And the rebound by Nurkic. Norkic has got four rebounds now tonight. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Richardson with it. He's against Turner. Wasted no time on that one. And the Heat lead by four. Man, they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Willard looking around. And another three for Portland. Oh, he is just so clutch, saving his best for when the pressure is at its highest. Rogic against Lillard. Rogic kicks to Richardson. Johnson, the pass to Whiteside. No stopping him there. Jams it in as he's fouled. Chance now for a three-point play. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. Even in big parts of the game, I could depend on him to step his game up. 
Dragic with it. Lillard picks him up, and he gets it to go. Time out, time out. That's some fancy ball handling right there since when does he take guys off the dribble? Now a timeout called by Portland. They're down by six. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jordan player of the game, Hassan Whiteside. And he's been dialed in from the field, Kevin. Good on over 60% of his attempts. They've been working the ball around well, and he's benefited with a lot of open looks. And boy, has he made the most of it. Now here's McCollum. Overweighters. McCollum, no good. And an intentional foul right there. Break, take a break. Two shots. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven point lead. And Dragic came into the NBA with something on his resume that not many other rookies have. He has a ring from winning the Slovenian Pro League the year before he came to America. This one just all but in the books. Yeah, too many points, not enough time. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're trailing by eight. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven seconds left in the game. Near the three-point line, it's McCollum. And yep, finally dropped after rolling around the rim. He's an experienced player in clutch situations. I mean, McCollum loves being the guy that takes these important shots. And he commits the intentional foul. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. And with the time remaining, I'm just not seeing it. 
Well, you know they like to have some plays back, especially a couple of those stupid ones from earlier. But I tell you what, they'll, they'll learn from this. Dragic looking for an opening. And so it's the Heat winning this one. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really had to work for this win. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, well, weaker teams might have buckled at the end with the crowd amped up, everyone in the building kind of rooting against you. But they stood tall and, and pulled it out. Well said. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Goran, congrats on the win tonight. Bench really came through tonight. What all has to happen for this team to really be clicking? I mean, everybody's playing hard, you know. Um, even the guys from the bench, you know, we, we need everybody, even including the bench. Everybody has to be focused, play hard, and especially in defense. True team effort got it done tonight. Thanks, Goran. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Chris Weber, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.